Hi guys, my name is Pushpinder Sani. Once again, I came with the very interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to tell you how you can create a table view in a very professional way and how you can make your table view as a scalable and very good performance into the performing. So let's start with the development and understand how we can do that. So at the very first, I have this dummy project where I am going to create one table view. I will click on main and I will create one table view controller or you can take a table view inside your view controller itself. So this is my view controller inside this view controller. I am going to take one table view. This is my table view. I will set the constraint to my table view. All the part will be 0, 0. Add constraint. So here is my table view. Now I will take the outlet of my table view in my storyboard controller. So this is my storyboard controller. From here I will drag and drop and I will give name as table view. So this is my table view. Now from here we no need to do anything. The work has been completed from here. Now open your view controller. From here uh, see the video very carefully and it's a very easy basically but here I'm going to make some advanced level how big big application manage their data and manage their controller. So at the very first I will create one basic function private fun set table view. This function I'm going to call from the view dead load and before that I will make self this is the good indication of the good uh, developer if they are using the function within a class so better to make self in front of function now I will create the folder that is called new group and I will give cell inside this function I will create all those cells which is related to uh, that table view so I will create first cell that will be type of table view cell search cell and also create the xiv of this cell now click on next create now this is your search cell inside search cell i will take search bar i will set the constraint of this search bar and i will make this as a minimal minimal this border will not come if you are making the search by search bar style as minimal so this border will not come now I will set the constraint from all the side and I will give 10. So this is my cell. Now you can see all the constraint has been set. At the very first I will make the background of this cell. From here I will open and I will go to the content. And I will give the default background. I will make that as a clear. So whatever the background we are giving to our controller it will represent with that. Okay. Now I will create another cell. I will name as product cell. So here also I will create XIB. Click on create. Now we have two cell one for search and another for product. Now in product cell I will create a design and the design I will create very simple. Same for this I will give the clear background. And inside that I will take one view. I will set the constraint to this view. 10 10 inside that I will take one image we can say product image to this product image I am going to set the height and width as 80 80 from right 10 from top 10 now I will take some label we can say product name this is again 10 this is 10 and I will make it as top of image so it will be uh, match with the same top hierarchy of the label now if you would like to set some font to make more beautiful then you can set the font from here now another table I will uh, label I will create for description this description I will set leading and trailing and I will give the space from top 10 and from bottom 10. Why I given this from bottom here for matching the good hierarchy. 
it can be greater than and same way to the image i will give 10 and it also will be the greater than equal to 10 so here is now i will give the font to this and i will set as regular font is minimum so this is my table view and this is my search view so how we are going to use in our table view let's see that so as you know we have created this function so here i will take self dot table view first of all i will register my cells so register cell with niv and for reusable identifier so this is univ now i will create univ so univ and with nib name and bundle nib name this is search cell so we can say search cell and bundle will be nil so it will consider by default the same bundle of your project and same is we are going to use for reusable, reusable identifier now i will register another cell that is name as we can say product cell now here also so here one work has been completed now after that i will do self dot which is very basic to set the delegate and data source so delegate will be self and self dot table view dot data source will be the self and additionally you can add self dot table view dot separator uh, separation uh, separator style if it is required then only you can add now one work has been completed now we have to uh, create the delegate and data source for this table view as you can see it's giving the error now i will create the extension for view controller and here i will use ui table view delegate comma ui table view data source now this is my delegate and table view data source before that suppose today you are using two cell for this table view but in future if you need to use the any other cell then it will be difficult now i will tell you how we can reuse that okay so first of all normally how we do i will tell the same scenario to you so here i will take number of section we can say two and same way number of row in section we can say uh, if section double equal to zero then return one else return five as of now this we are going to do that and here if index dot section double equal to zero then let cell equal to table view dot dq reusable cell for index path and same with search cell and this will be my index path and i can say as search cell return cell so same way i will use for else so i can say else and this will be product cell i will copy paste from here so let's see let's run the project and see what will be the output as of now i did not set any product uh, name i did not set any product description and the image as well so here is my table view and uh, my collection cell so you can see the table cell also is there and the uh, search cell also is there but that is very bad strategy to Im uh, implement this type of things so how we are going to rectify that here is the basic thing i will create enum and i will give like uh, the name of the file we can say view controller cell type by default i will import int and i will give as case iteratable why case iteratable because we will we are going to count the size of this so first i will give section equal to zero same way i will give product equal to one so one and two now how many number of section will be the here so we can say self uh, return view controller cell type dot all cases dot count so this will be the number of section and here what better things we are going to do we are going to use the switch statement for the better reusability 
so I will give switch and here I will take section I will compare if view controller cell type dot search oh this will be the search search dot raw value then return only one and the another case we will use for product return 10 and default return dot 0 so this is one enhancement now second thing we are going to do here same switch case we will copy paste this cell we are taking for so here it will be search cell and this cell we are taking for the products so this will be for the product and by default it will return ui table view cell it will be index path dot section now again run and see the output now here you can see this is a very good way good way to approach now how we are going to import any additional cell let's say I'm going to say new cell name we can say banner I will create the XIB so this is my banner cell inside this cell I will take one image first I will clear the background of this now I will take one view I will going to set same 10 10 and inside that I am going to take one image with the height of 200 and all the constraint will be 0 0 now I will set the background to my image you can set anything whatever you want and I will use one image we can say just for display purpose I am using that same product image we have created so here I will use the background and image I will use I would like to add this cell before the product so what thing we have to do here just add banner and change the index of the product with 2 now here we can say if it is a banner then return only one and same way i'll copy paste banner and we can say it's a banner cell now we forgot to register this banner cell so i will register this banner cell in same way i will say banner cell here also the same thing now run your code and see the output so here is your uh, complete scalable model how you can design your table view and how you can use your table view in a very professional way if you have any query and you are looking for this type of video then please like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any query then please write your query in the comment box thank you have a great time bye bye